Well, hey guys, I am Lauren with the Smarter Creative and I'm coming to you today to talk about this really cool feature that Canva just released with brands. Now, they've always had brand styling where you can tell them your fonts and colors um, and those, um, but they have recently for the premium Canva subscription made it so in one click you can switch your brand style and this is a amazing amazing feature if you're like me and you do like dubzato setups for people where you have to have their branding if you are a social media manager and you're creating graphics for um, all different kinds of companies or if you are just i don't know just an awesome human being creating graphics for different people for no money um this is for you to show you how easy it is to flip between brands how to set up the brand guide and just yeah how to use it inside of Canva. Let's go. All right, you guys, we are inside of my Canva. The first thing you want to do for branding is go to brand kit. Here you're going to see all of the different brand kits I have of some of the clients I've recently worked with. Um, I'll go ahead and go into this guy. This is my um, fair trade jewelry company that I have. So I have a few different logos for it. Um, and then with this, I have, and you can um, upload more brand logos here and it'll pop open um, your headings. Um, here you can choose your brand fonts. It's gonna be your heading, your subheading, and your body. And you can always hit the little edit and it will let you select and you can always upload fonts as well. And then you have colors. Um, Noonday is a fashion brand, so we have different um, colors with every season. And then I have my colors, um, and Noonday has their overall brand colors. So you can add palettes. You can even um, discover palettes if, like, you're looking to create your own brand colors. You can go ahead and scroll of all the professional um, colors that they have, even if you just add and search one color, a whole different palette is gonna pop up for you. And then when you go to create a design, this is the very best part. All right, when you create a design, you have the ability to, let me just, I don't know, throw up a random design here. I'm gonna move my face a little bit. Um, when you can go over here to the left-hand side and do styles, and I'm currently on the Smarter Creative, but let me go over to my LB Co. You can go ahead and hit fonts, and then I can shuffle my colors around here. And now it is in my brand colors. I could duplicate this page, and let's say I want to do the same thing, but for my Smarter Creative. I'm going to hit that drop down, and then I'm going to hit Smarter Creative. I'm going to hit my fonts, and then I'm going to change up my colors for my Smarter Creative. And just like that, I have the design in the right fonts and colors and all that good stuff. How amazing is that? And you could also apply to all pages if you wanted the font to carry throughout all of them. Perhaps you have a um, like multiple this or that. Let's see, I'm just gonna go for it. And I go styles. I'm going to change my fonts and I'm going to apply to all pages. Let's see, let's see if the colors do too. Yep, all my colors switched and so did my fonts. And this is wonderful for presentations, for social media, for just brand guidelines that you're putting together. And I love the fact that your fonts are going to stay consistent design to design no matter what. Um, so have fun. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on using brands inside of Canva. Subscribe to my channel. I am getting back in the habit of posting content every single week to help you stay organized and work smarter in your creative business instead of harder. So I hope this trick served you well. Subscribe, hit that notification bell to get alerted when a new video goes up, and drop a comment if there's something else, a hack, a tip, a trick that you want to know more about. I'd love to put a video together to serve you. God bless you guys.